For this video, I made a fantasy slash sci-fi based piece of a spaceship in the clouds. I got my images from Pexels and Pixabay, two amazing stock photo websites. While making this piece, I commentate what I'm doing to give you a better understanding of my process in Photoshop. This was really fun to make and it only took me about an hour. If you want more videos like this one of me explaining what I'm doing, then make sure to let me know in the comments. Anyways, that's for now and enjoy the video. Like normal, I started off by adding my first image and duplicating it multiple times. I did this to fill in both the top and the bottom part of the image that was empty. After this, I started adding some basic shadows and highlights to make everything match just a little more. Once that was done, I added in another cloud image to give the photo some more depth and size. I duplicated this layer and tweaked the levels and color of the image to make it blend more with the existing clouds. I did this a couple more times in other spots to make the area seem a lot bigger than it was. To make the image look more dreamy and add scale, I took a shape layer and faded one side to make it look more like a planet. I then duplicated this and made it smaller. After I was done with the background, I added in the main subject. Once I dropped this image into my composition, I started color correcting it as well as making the glow in the back more realistic. By clipping an exposure layer and fixing the lighting, I managed to do that. Matching color between two images is fairly simple. You can do it in many different ways. The most common way is getting a curves adjustment layer and clipping it to the object, and moving the line in different color channels. There's plenty of videos on YouTube further explaining how to use it and how it works, but if you want to use it to its full potential, I suggest watching a couple videos. I feel like making art in the air or in clouds is the easiest kind to do, because you usually don't have to worry about making objects look planted with their environment. Later on, I started adding some finishing touches to really sell the idea of the spaceship being there. I did this by adding several things like flares, particles, and some atmospheric smoke. The reason I did this was to, again, put some more depth to the image. What you see me adding here is an oil painted effect. What that does is make things look more smooth and soft like an oil painting. There's a few different ways to achieve this look. Another way to do this is called smudge painting. To smudge paint, you take the smudge brush tool and make tiny strokes along parts of your object. Both of these methods work very well and can make your art look really cool. I highly suggest trying this if you haven't already.
When making sci-fi based pieces, it's really important to be creative and not let logistics hold you back. After all, it is your piece and whatever you say goes, but there's a line between fantasy and reality. And when making a piece that fits both, but still retains the belief that it could be possible, usually ends up in something amazing.